Welcome to The Garden, a channel on practical solutions for turning data into information. This video is part of our ongoing exploration of Power Query. In previous videos, we learned how to extract data from multiple Excel files, how to join two tables, and how to efficiently remove blank rows from your data set. Let's continue our journey and introduce the if statement and its syntax in Power Query. But first, let's state the why behind our analysis. The question we aim to answer is whether a player's average point per game is a true reflection of their talents, or whether these statistics is primarily influenced by good performance against weak defensive teams. To answer this question, we will rely on a simple visual assessment. To obtain our result, we will perform the following task. Get the necessary data, perform basic data cleaning, group teams by defensive ranking, calculate a weighted average point per game, visualize our results. We covered task one and two in previous video, and you can find the links in the description below. In this video, we'll focus on solving task three. To group our team based on their defensive ranking, we will use an if statement, which is a standard programming statement found in popular languages such as Python, SAS, and even core web languages like JavaScript. Let's dive into the details of how this statement works. For each value in the rank column, the if statement asks the following questions. Is the value in the column less than or equal to 10? If the answer is yes, then the team will be assigned to group one. If no, we continue the check process. Let's take a closer look at the if statement syntax. We open the statement with a single keyword, if, and close it with a single keyword, else. Any statement in between our starting line and closing line starts with an else if. Now, let's review the resulting table. The final table includes a new column where each team is assigned to a specific defensive group based on a condition we define in the if statement. Perfect. In our next video, we will calculate a weighted average point per game and create a chart to visualize our result. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Thank you for watching this video. Join the community for more content on practical solutions for turning data into information.